everybody, it's Bill Parker, Parker Outdoor Adventures, and today is November 18th, 2017, it's opening day for whitetail gun season in Tennessee, I'm out here in my ground blind, I've been anticipating this day for 10 months, um, I've seen more deer out here on trail cams and uh, just doing some advanced scouting. I'm really excited about the deer that are out here. I think the logging from last year has paid dividends. The uh, persimmon trees were in full bloom, had a good crop this year. The farmer planted soybeans this year, so we've still got a little bit of soybean remnant in the fields. Um, I'm just really excited about the potential that this hunting season brings. So stay tuned if you want to see the average guy hunt on a limited amount of property with a limited amount of experience we're going to see if we can get it done this year thanks for watching and if you like my videos be sure to hit that subscribe button down here on the bottom thanks and stay tuned well we've been out here about two hours haven't seen anything haven't heard a gunshot. We're surrounded by other soybean fields and rednecks. I'm sure there's a person sitting in every field. And just the fact that I haven't heard any shots, that's kind of a bad sign for opening morning. But in all fairness, we've got a steady 25 mile an hour wind blowing this morning out of the southwest. It's, uh, almost 70 degrees which is unseasonably mild for November this late in November anyway so I was going to give you a little shot of my ground blind see what it looks like on the inside and the out uh, probably not on the inside because it's pretty dark in here but I'll show you what my view is from the outside and what I see looking out and maybe we'll spot a deer let me uh, switch the camera around Oh, I can't, sorry. iPhone, I hate iPhones. But uh, we hope to step our recording game up to a uh, regular handheld production camera later on this year. But for right now, this is all I've got. It's my phone, so sorry. The video is going to be kind of rough. And uh, anyway, I'll have to stitch this together. So let me flip it around real quick and I'll give you a view outside of my windows. Well guys, opening morning, it's warm and windy, about, about got blown away in that ground blind. Um, saw one nice six point, he's at the top of the hill though, all I could see was his head, he looked straight at me, man, just a couple more degrees of elevation and I could have popped him, but anyway, he'll, could, he'll come back. Uh, also, speak of a really nice buck. Never saw him come out of the tree line. I just moved around in my blind a little bit and heard him blow. And I looked up and I saw his back in and took off running. That is the deer I want to kill. I think that's the one I missed last year. Anyway, we'll get him down on the ground this year. Uh, I'm going to head back to the house for a little while, eat some breakfast. I've got some chores I've got to get done. I've got Slick Willie back there in the. Uh, shooting box we built the new shooting box we're going to try out this year we've got it in a cherry location so uh i've got will out there he's a crack shot if anything comes within a few hundred feet of him a few hundred yards he's going to kill it so we'll see if he can kill one and uh we'll try to get back with you at the end of the day results morning everybody bill parker parker outdoor adventures today is uh the third day of the 2017 whitetail gun season here in Tennessee. I'm hunting out here on my place in my new uh, box blind that me and Will, my son, made. We framed it out of pallets, basically, or pallet wood. And bought some of this mossy oak camo uh, OSB sheeting put on the outside. So far, it's been a great box. We've got it on a great view uh, vantage point overlooking three different fields I've shot at a giant eight point evidently missed him shot at a nice six point 
obviously missed him. So I brought my sniper team in yesterday. Put Will out here yesterday for an hour. He killed a nice little two-point, which we were hoping to kill a couple of small deer for the freezer. We're not really looking for trophy deer, but anyway, he did a great job. So I'm back at it. It's 6.30 in the morning. It's 21 degrees, which is a little cold, but anyway. Haven't seen any deer moving yet. Um, I still don't have my camera set up where I can film a live shot or any kind of uh, in progress. But uh, I'll update you and try to send you a shot as soon as I put one on the ground. Hopefully that's today. Anyway, hope you're having a great week. Uh, this is Thanksgiving week. I'm really looking forward to it. Take care. Until next time. Hey, everybody. Well, I was in the blind about an hour. Um, I saw a nice little buck come right in front of the stand, and uh, I couldn't resist. Anyway, uh, I gave him a few minutes. It's been about probably 25 minutes since I shot him, and I came over here looking for a blood trail. Evidently, I was looking in the wrong place. So I came up to the trailhead where I, shot, where I saw him going to the woods, and uh, I saw him laying up against the tree, and as soon as he saw me, he blew and kind of hobbled off um, before I could get another shot off at him. So I'm gonna let him dive. I'm, as I walked out of the woods, I saw a massive blood trail out here in the field. So I'm gonna go back to the uh, hunt blind, gonna drink a cup of coffee. I'm gonna call my four wheeler tracking ace, Will Barker, and uh, we'll give this guy a few more minutes and then we'll go uh, track him down. I'll try to update you here in a few minutes. Hey everybody, I wanted to give a little uh, advanced warning for the rest of this video. It's uh, pretty graphic, um, so if you don't like seeing dead animals or uh, blood or guts or anything, you probably want to turn the video off right now. Um, I had a pretty close shot on a deer today, and I went ahead and took it, and uh, it was a pretty devastating shot. So, like I said, if uh, if blood and guts and dead animals is not your thing, cut the video off right now because it's fixing to get real. Otherwise, stay tuned. You've been warned. One. All right, everybody. Me and uh, my best deer tracker, Will, uh, finally found this beautiful seven point. Uh, looks like he was at eight, but broke off the tine. Uh, I'm super excited. Man, we had to track this thing probably 200 yards into the wood. We finally found him at the bottom of a ditch. Uh, so I called Will. He's really good at four-wheeler riding. and He was able to get the four-wheeler all the way into the ditch. So we field dressed it. His first deer to field dress. I got to tell you, it was pretty gross. I probably butchered him pretty bad. Uh, Knives were not as sharp as I would think they need to be, so I'm leave, after today I'm going to buy me an outdoor edge knife with surgical uh, micro steel blades on them. Never want to be field dressing with a dull knife again. Never, never, never. But uh, I hit him in the chest uh, with a 180 grain Winchester Super X, and uh, it pretty much took took his chest out. So. It kind of helped me feel dressing him in one way, but it made it kind of gross on the other hand. He's not definitely not a trophy mount, but uh, hey, we're just after a good freezer buck anyway. Will killed a good one last night. Yes, sir. And, uh, we're super excited to have two deer on the ground. I got my cherry pop today with this one <laughs> uh, after shooting and missing a few times this year. I was really getting down again, but you know, when you're the average guy and you don't get to go out and shoot a lot, don't get to hunt a lot. Uh, you just shoot what you can and shoot when you can and try to enjoy being in the outdoors and nothing, nothing, nothing in the world can compare to the time I've had today just getting to come out here and being uh, God's creation with my son Will and experiencing this hunt and experiencing this field dressing. We're going to try, uh, try to get out of this ditch with the four wheeler. I'm going to video while Will uh, <laughs> makes the attempt and uh, we'll see how it goes here. We're going to switch cameras. I'm going to let Will have it. It's a pretty steep incline. And, uh, Will, you just be careful. And, uh, strap down. 
Not strapped down. We'll see if you can get up there. We might have to stop. Okay. Sorry, folks. We had a uh, brief technical difficulty called uh, the deer falling off the back of the four-wheeler. Uh, hope this isn't too graphic of a video. Uh, really had a pretty nasty shot on the deer. Uh, took his front chest out of his took pretty much the front of his chest off with his shot. It was uh, rough. Anyway, fixing the thing with the processor. I want to thank Chuck Upton for letting us borrow this Honda Rancher. Because I'm going to tell you, this thing has bailed us out many a time. It's pulled many a logs. It's pulled uh, many a stumps out of the woods. It's hauled, hauled, hauled. And this is like the third or fourth deer we've had to go track down. And uh, this just would not be fun if you didn't have this for with it. So thank you, Chuck, for giving, letting us borrow this. It's really made this a pleasant experience. All right, everybody, this is it. We're gonna take the deer back to the house. We're gonna rinse it off really good. And we're gonna take it to the processor and uh, wait for the meat. And until next episode, this is Bill Parker.